welcome back to another video where tonight's video we are going to be redrawing or repainting my photo that I have up currently as my what is it called again as my profile photo and the photo that I'm going to be working with is one where I took not so long ago but quite some time ago and it's going to have uh, my character wearing a flower crown so we're just going to start to make some sketches of it and I'm sorry that we're going to be changing tones and it's not going to be one of those challenge but hopefully this will be a challenge enough as we grab our sketchbook which I already have an idea in mind of how I want it to be and now it's just figuring out do I want it in the sketchbook or should I do it in one of my much fancier paper and my bright idea is to do it separate, do one in here and then one in the next book which is going to be a bit of a challenge but hopefully on this channel we love challenges so you know what i'm going to do it directly onto the paper and then paste it in the book because that seems like the more logical thing to do so let me get the paper now these are the paper that i'm talking about and they were pretty expensive they they have a hefty price mark on them but they're very thin and it's 25% cotton raw tracing volume acid free for use with pencil or ink so because it could be used with ink too, it's actually great with the watercolor so I'm just going to take a page out from here and something that I'm extremely worried about is making my table dirty uh, I don't have anything else to spread onto the surface so I'm just going to have to try to wipe it up and clean it out if the table does get dirty. I haven't slept this yet for the night, it is currently Monday morning and I've already filmed today's video. So this is actually Tuesday's video that I'm filming right now. And then later on, if I have time, I'm going to be filming Wednesday's video today. I'm like doing it like this because I want to keep ahead of the schedule. I don't want to fall behind because falling behind seems to be something that I do a lot and I just don't want to do it. I want to have a steady schedule. the first things that we're going to do is to put the camera much lower on to the paper so that we can you can actually see what I'm doing how I'm drawing the drawing process I'm going to be doing and so now that you're seeing a much in close and in person of what I'm doing next thing that I would do is I would try to get the photo that I'm talking about let me just pull it up on screen on my tablet so I've I've got my tablet right here and But I don't I'm looking for the photos but I don't think I I have it in the tablet anymore so where would it be I think it will be in screenshots I think I took a screenshot of it so is it in screenshots um it is not in screenshots I found other stuff in screenshots, I guess. I deleted it. I'm just going to go try and get it again. But you're going to see the photo on screen. So yeah, but it seems as though I deleted the screenshot. Um, oh, boy. Anyway, um, we're just going to get into drawing. Oh no, I I have them here. So, oh, but I don't have that one here, so I'm still going to have to go get it. Anyway, uh, wish me luck with the drawing.
thought that the drawing process was hard. It came the most difficult part of this drawing and that was the inking process and trying to remember where everything was since it was such a confusing mess of graphite and paper. But the inking process on one half went really well but as we got over to the next half you're going to notice I started getting some difficulties and that was because the paper was flat against a hard surface. I was also very concerned about smudging which is not something that happens very often but it does happen so I was concerned about that. After I finished the inking process started to erase all of the pencil mark and one of the issues I found while erasing the pencil mark is that the pencil mark was deeper than I hoped it would be but not only that it was also um, making the paper mash, smush, whatever you want to say and since the paper is so thin I didn't really want that to happen. Anyway, I used this process where I would try to blend the two markers together to get that sort of purple pink effect. Made a mistake with putting this plant green. It was not supposed to be green to be honest. It was supposed to be a different color, but my bad. Anyway, um, these are the brush tip markers that work really well, especially if you can't find anything expensive. These are for six, 640. I I think at Pale 640 or 660. I've mentioned the price in a previous video. The last video I did with um, buying new art supplies, the price is in there on how much these are for. But I've used them before, I love them. I have three different packs of them now. And I bought them three separate times. If I go back to Pills again and I see them, I of course will buy them again. But I did pick up some new art supplies yesterday, which you're going to see in the upcoming video. Um, Monday's video is already out. That came out last night. So we have our next video, which today is... Tuesday and I'm behind on schedule. Do you see why I filmed this video up front? So today's Tuesday and this is Tuesday's video being edited right now So it's going to be out tonight and when I'm finished editing this video while uploading it I'm going to be filming Tomorrow's video tonight and I'll try my best to edit it tonight so I can put it out tomorrow and I could go back being ahead of schedule yesterday I wasn't home so I did no filming whatsoever yesterday and that is why I am behind on schedule again but um back on schedule I'll be back on schedule soon and this is why I film ahead and keep ahead so that in case there's a day where I need to go out I have a video that I can upload and put out anyway this video is nowhere you know what it is actually near the end as you can see we've inked in all the work well I don't know what more I can say right now I'm just not feeling up to talking today and I'm very excited on trying out the new paint obviously so with that being said hope you guys enjoy this video if so you can go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this where you can see us use multiple medias for example this I've used not just markers but you will also see me use a little bit of watercolor paint um this video does have a while more to go so you guys can stick around watch it to the end maybe try something like this on your own trust me all of these designs that i've done are very very easy to do all you need is paper pencil pick it up and give it a start and if you don't have any fancy paper that's okay you can use normal printing paper i mean it won't last it won't stand up to all the markers and the bleeding and stuff like that but you can try it with markers and paint and I will do something similar to this using my cheap the cheapest paint that I can find to show you guys that it doesn't matter what material we have how cheap your paintbrush is how cheap your art supplies is what type of paper you're using you can always find a way to make art and especially if you're living in Guyana you will not find that expensive proper stuff. I'm hearing something in here that's making a weird noise in my room right now. Anyway, with that being said, goodbye. Hope to see you guys again soon.
take care and that's it for this video stick around to the end and you're not gonna hear me talk anymore for the rest of this video but you should definitely stick around till the end